Hi everyone. Today we will learn how to create an SSH key so that we can log into our server without a password. Uh, I will just uh, demonstrate an example. Let's say I am logging into my server. You will see that it requires uh, me to put a password. So this becomes a bit hectic when all the time we need to put the password over and over again. Uh, we can um, solve this problem by uh, adding our uh, computer's key to the server so that it uh, authenticates us uh, whenever we want to uh, connect to it. So let's just go ahead and do it. Uh, for this we will be needing uh, a putty software. So I'll just go ahead and download one. So I'll download from here. Uh, you can find out your uh, operating system type by going right clicking on the start icon and click system and it will actually show us the system type here once you know your system type you can just download the file and install it Let's just go with the default settings. We can actually uh, add a shortcut to our desktop as well. Any prompts you get, please accept it. Once done, let's let's go ahead and start it. So once my Pati client is open, we can actually connect to our server by saving our server information here. So let's say I try to log into my server and I will name it my server and I'll save it. And let's try to log into my server what, I, what it does. First time it will give us prompt that um, should we add it as a trusted host, yes or no. Let's just uh, make it yes. Now we need to uh, provide which user we are logging in as and you will see that it is requiring us a password. So once we know that we can log into our server with our password, we will just uh, uh, create an SSH key and add it to our server. So this party actually comes with its um, key generator as well. So we can actually um, open the key generator by right clicking uh, on the putty and if you don't see it here um, you can actually download it separately as well so you will see that putty has a lot of uh, extensions so uh, if your particular one doesn't come with one we can just download it from here as well so let's just go ahead and download one and I'll just open it up so this is the putty generator so initially we can just uh, generate an key by clicking generate and just uh, moving our mouse on this on this panel so now it has generated our public key so this is the key we will be needing to add uh, to our server and uh, we will need to save our private key as well so that we can authenticate to the server uh, using putty so let's just go ahead and save these keys so i will go and save this key to this location you can just save it in easy so let's just save it as my key.pub so this is a public key and we can save a private key as well my key.pk this is a uh, putty private key so th this will only work uh, with putty but if we need uh, um, the linux uh, compatible key as well we can do it by going to conversions and we can export the open ssh key so that is actually like a private key which uh, uh, the linux servers uh, accept so let's just go ahead and save it without any extension so now that our keys are generated uh, let's try to add uh, our public key to the server and uh, then we will try to authenticate it uh, using putty so this public key which gets generated uh, you can either uh, add it this file or you can just copy it from here once I log into my server uh, you will see that it uh, asks me for username and password 
uh, let's try to add our uh, newly generated key here so I'll just uh, for this we will need uh, to have a dot um, ssh folder within our home folder so to go to our home folder we'll just press cd space and press enter it will take us to the home folder and you can also see where you are right now by just pressing pwd so right now i'm in the root home folder so i'll just uh, go ahead and create a dot um, ssh folder here i'll, uh, I'll create a folder SSH, and I'll, I'll create a authorized underscore keys file where we will be putting our uh, public key so i will actually uh, copy paste my public key here once done i'll save the file and i'll need to make sure that the uh, permissions of the folder and files are correct as well so i'll just quickly go and make them correct so for folder it should be 700 and for the file it should be 600 once this is done i'll exit it and let's try to connect our client again before connecting i'll just load my settings once i load my settings i'll make sure that i uh, i put the details of which user i'm going to connect so I'll go to connections and data and here I will tell I need to connect to a root user and I will also need to put the path for the uh, SSH uh, private key or putty. So I'll just go ahead to the path where actually we saved our file and I'll choose the putty private key and then before connecting we need to save our settings. Once saved I'll try to open it and this time it, it connected using the public key so that means we are successfully logged into our server without requiring a password i hope this tutorial helps thank you for watching